have to do is we have a cable that we can come in back and send an alternate feature. All right. Um, thank you. Thank you very much for the invitation. So I'm going to talk about some joint work with uh, Dustin Clausen, uh, Nico Noman, and Justin Noel. Um, so this is going to use a lot of ideas of uh, equivariant stable homotopy theory um, to, uh, and to obtain some results in algebraic K theory, and in particular to provide some evidence of a general philosophy uh, of Hassonian wrongness in the K theory of ring spectra. Um, so it's really nice to be able to give this talk in this particular setting because a lot of the ideas that go into this were developed by people who are in this room. Um, all right, so let's get started. All of this really begins with Thomason's theorem, uh, Thomason's descent theorem, uh, and the algebraic K theory of rings or schemes. So I'm going to start by recalling how that goes. Um, so let X be a scheme. Uh, let's say an Ethereum scheme. So one of the invariants of X in which we might be interested in is the algebraic K theory spectrum K of X, or its homotopy groups Kn of X, the algebraic K groups of X. And in general, we don't know how to compute this. Um, but one analogy that we might keep in mind in, in thinking about computing this is that algebraic K theory is something like a cohomology theory on the category of schemes. Um, so, so what does that mean? Well, let me... Um, so first of all, it's a contravariant, it's a contravariant functor. Um, it's a contravariant functor from schemes to the category of spectra. Um, and second of all, it satisfies some analog of the Mayer by Torus property. Um, so if if we have our scheme X and it's a union of open subsets U and V, then we have a pullback diagram of connective spectra where we've got K of X mapping to K of U mapping to K of V and to K of the intersection. So in homotopy groups, this is going to give us a long exact sequence uh, in, in K groups, and this is an analog of the mayer Torah sequence. So if we're thinking about algebraic K theory as something like a cohomology theory, then by analogy with algebraic topology, we should have something like in a Tia Hertzberg spectral sequence for algebraic K theory. Um, something that would start with some simpler cohomology of the scheme and converge to the algebraic K theory. Um, so, uh, well, this is not quite going to be enough for that because, uh, so in, in, in more sophisticated terminology, this is telling us that algebraic K theory is a sheaf of connective spectra uh, on the Zariski site. Now, the Zariski site of the scheme X is generally too coarse, as we know, to be uh, useful to have a good analogy with uh, algebraic topology. We should really be working with the etal site. Um, so we've said that K theory has the Zariski descent property, and that raises a natural question. Does K theory have etal descent? So if K theory satisfies etal descent, then we can hope for we can hope for an, an analogy with, for example, topological. Yes. But it doesn't have the risk of this. Why? I said connective spectra. Yeah. Uh, is there a mistake if I work with connective spectra? Mm -hmm. I think this is fine. Um, I don't know what is there an issue with pi zero? I yeah. think there's a pi zero. Okay. Um, let's assume then x is regular, so we don't have to worry about that. Or let's. Yeah. Thank you. Um, okay, so K theory, so the question is whether K theory satisfies um, Etal descent. Um, so in general, if, if you're satisfying Zariski descent, um, the, most important, uh, the most important case to check for Etal descent uh, is the case of a Galois, Galois cover. Um, so if Y to X is a G torsor, where G is a finite group, then what does, well, this is the prototypical example of an etalomorphism, which is not a Zariski, which is not the Zariski site. Um, then we get a natural map from the K theory of X to the K theory of Y, which is a pullback, and the group G acts on K of Y, so uh, this map is equivariant, so we get a natural map like this. Um, so we get this map, and the question is, is this map an equivalence, or how close is it to being an equivalence? So this is the basic Galois descent question. 
not to break game theory. And if we had something like this, then we could hope for some sort of local to global spectral sequence starting from a telecomology and converging, um, converging to algebraic K theory. Um, so this is, this is a type of question that Thomason considered. And let me start by observing that when you invert the order of the group, um, everything is fine in this setting. Um, so I'm going to consider the, the simpler case of a Galois extension of fields, um, though it's not hard to adapt the, the argument to the general case. So proposition, and I call this baby Thomason. <laughs> so if E to F is a G Galois extension of commutative rings, or of fields, or more generally, commutative rings, then the natural map from the algebraic K-theory spectrum of E, where we've inverted the order of the group, to the homotopy fixed points on the algebraic K-theory spectrum of F, where again we've inverted the order of the group. So we have this natural map, and this is an equivalence. So when we, in particular, when we work rationally, algebraic K-theory, I guess modulo this issue with pi zero, which um, I mixed up here, uh, is, is a sheaf. Um, so this is this is this remark is made very early in Thomason's paper, and I want to explain the proof of it um, because it's it's essentially a diagram chase. Uh, but in fact, everything in this talk is going to going to be based on some sort of more homotopical version of of this diagram chase. Um, so I'm going to write down the proof. Um, so let's let's look at all the different pieces of structure that we get uh, when we have a Galois extension of fields e to f. So first of all, we have the algebraic K-theory spectrum of E, um, and we have the algebraic K-theory spectrum of F. The algebraic K-theory spectrum of E is just a spectrum.